Hey guys, welcome back to, uh, to some more Dragon Quest, of course. Right, we're still, still in Octagonia, and uh, it feels like we've been here forever. I, like, I've started a video in this area so many times in a row now, it feels like I actually live here, like in real life. Uh, but what we need to do now, we need to talk to the receptionist, because we're about to get our reward for the tournament. Just a little thing, I've actually played this bit before because I was recording it and realized my microphone was fucking up. So, I've kind of seen the next couple of events in Octagonia. I've not seen anything past that because luckily I realized. Uh, but yes, so this won't be any surprise to me what happens right now. So just warning you. Uh, hey mage, it's time for the ceremony. Vince is back on his feet and raring to go. He's in the arena already. So, everyone's waiting for us, let's go get our reward. And hopefully Vince will be kind enough to let us claim the, uh, the rain bow. I mean, we did help him out quite massively. You know, we sort of pardoned him, if you will. He's done some very bad things. For the right reasons, but still very bad things. And there are, uh... All our victims and our pals. Look at Veronica. Oh. Hey everybody, it's time to bring this year's Masked Martial Arts Tournament to a close. It's prize giving time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our champions, the Invincibles! Woo! Well, you know, one half of the Invincibles is pretty cool. Present the prize. Hold on, hold on. Seems kind of a shame to have the good folks of Octagonia come out and support us and not give them a show to enjoy. It ain't over till it's over. Why don't we make this interesting? I challenge you to a fight for the prize, partner. Winner takes all! Now yes, when I saw this first, I was like, Dude, seriously, we've done all that to help you, and you're still trying to, like... I don't know. Not re- It's hard to explain, but anyway. It turns out... Spoilers. Uh, it's... It's not that bad, Ladies I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, the gauntlet has been thrown down! Now that's the stuff champions are made of! No backing out now, unless you want to ride on your hands. <laughs> kind of putting us in a position here that we can't really say no. I didn't like it, but you'll see. You'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fooled you. I don't do that stuff anymore. I fight clean or not at all. Well, that's good. That's a good start. Now let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> So yeah, I was really worried that he would, like, try and, you know, steal the prize for himself by organizing this little fight. But it's actually, he's done it for a really cool reason, I think. As you'll soon see. I'm sorry, I'm kind of spoiling it, I know. But it's hard to, it's hard not to when you've just replayed this bit. Like, or played it before. Goddamn microphone. So yeah, all, all I did last time was the flame slash him to death. He does not have much health. He usually misses with his attacks or he assesses the situation. As you can see, he's nearly dead already. See? When he said he was a third-rate fighter, he was not kidding. He is pretty awful. See? Down. Out for the count already. It's all over! The champ is down! We have a winner! Vince looked kind of weak out there. He sure did. What's gotten into him? Oh, uh, you'll see why he did it. Uh, I needed people to see that. To see that I ain't nothing without that juice. I never had what it takes to be the champ. You deserve that prize, man. See, so he's alright, actually. He's not being a dick. Thanks. 
You taught me what it means to be a fighter again. I won't forget this time. So, I kind of almost forgive Vince for doing what he did. We love you, Vince! And this bit's nice. Thanks for putting it on the line for us every time! Aw, oh, they appreciate him, see? Not good. You're a true champ, man! <laughs> I remember laughing at that dude last time. He is, I like that guy. You're a true champ, man! Oh, if only they knew the truth. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. It's a nice little send-off. Now he can go away and train. It gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the rainbow is... Well, he can go train properly and earn his victories instead of juicing up. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we get to uh, claim the rainbow finally. This is bad. This is real bad. But wait, what? <laughs> it's the rainbow. It's gone. You have got to be kidding me. <gasps> and all there was instead was this. Dun dun dun. And this letter too. Looks like it's for you. We know who's taking it. Come and meet me in Dundrasil. I've something to show you. Don't worry about the rainbow. It's safe with me. Mm-hmm. Can you not just let us have it, dude, and then ask us to just... Like, you could just wait and ask us to come with you to Dundrasil. What a shocking twist to end our tale, ladies and gentlemen. The grand prize snatched from under our champion's nose by none other than Old Man Rab! <laughs> will our hero journey to Dundrasil to claim what's rightfully his? How will it all end? I, for one, can't wait to find out! Dude, how are you going to find out? That's my question. How are you ever going to find out if we get to Dundrasil and get the freaking thing back? We're not going to come back and tell you specifically. Dundrasil, huh? So it's back to where it all began. Apparently so, Sylv. <sighs> And yeah, holy crap, that place has seen better days. I wonder if Sylv knows anything about it. But yeah, this is basically as far as I got, guys. I realized my microphone was acting all strange, so I just stopped. Um, so I would have got a, I got a trophy here when it does this bit, but that's about it. That's as far as I got. Uh, awarded for overcoming the reigning champion Vince Vanquish. And we didn't get a prize. Well, not yet, anyway. So, now we need to head out to Dundrasil. However, there is a quest uh, appeared. There is a, a quest has appeared, I should say. I got to do something about my skin. What? Fighting in the arena means performing in front of a crowd, and that means looking your best at all times. Bad skins, bad news out there in the ring. Is it really? Keeping things blemish-free ain't easy when you're being punched in the face all day. Luckily, Mellow Vera can do a real good job of fixing up a fighter's cuts and bruises. Okay, so that's why you want some. It grows by this big waterfall out west near Dundrasil. Okay, well, we're heading over there anyway, so we'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, you travel a lot, right? How about you head over there and grab some for me? Make it worth your while. Uh, well, we'll get another reps uh, recipe book for it, so you're damn right we will. The dapper chap. Thanks, man. Guess you got a good heart as well as a good skin. Th thanks. I don't know if really I worry too much about my skin, but some people are just blessed, you know, good genetics and all that. Alright, so, near a waterfall, out west. Skin care for the fierce and fabulous! Sounds like something Sylv would uh, would know about. Anywho, right? So, I mean, he's, he's just going to tell us where to go. Right now, apparently, if I check my quest catalog, 
We have missed a quest. Akia has another thing for us to do, so I'm gonna zoom back to Gondolia quickly and grab the uh, the quest. Also, we we have. Oh, there's a youngster at the orphanage in Octagonia who seems to be chasing shadows. Oh, there's another quest there as well. And uh, we still need to get the uh, floral coral. So I'm thinking maybe, before I do go to Dundrasil, I might just try and get a couple of these quests done, if I can. So I'm going to head to the orphanage quickly. So, and see what this orphan wants. Then we'll go chat to Akia. I reckon that sounds like a damn good idea. That sounds like a plan to me. Here he is. Uh, do you know Zero the Shadow? The MMA fighter, he's the coolest. He can just, like, disappear. The other guys don't even know he's there. That's his thing. It's like Batman. Uh, I really, really want to get his autograph. He's pretty much the only fighter whose signature I don't have. You don't have mine? Do you want mine? No? Okay. Uh, but you can go anywhere you want, right? Hey, could you go and get his autograph for me? Where is he? Oh, we'll get a mini medal for it. Oh, which reminds me, apparently, like I said, you can trade those in in Porta Valle. So I'm going to do that while, while I can. I can just zoom back there and hand the, those in, hopefully. And if we stay at the inn with the slime in Porta Valle, we'll get another mini medal. So it's worth doing. But yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Where is this dude, though? Uh, he should still be here in town. I don't know what he looks like, but I bet he's as big and strong, as mean as... You look like a fighter. Okay. Uh, you'll be the happiest kid in Octagonia, right. So where the fuck are we gonna find this guy? Hmm. As I sip my tea. Where could he be? Where the hell should I start looking for this dude? Oh, there's a chest up there! Holy tits! How the hell do I get that? Oh, come on, so close! Must be another way around. How the fudge do I get- oh. Well, that's the top level, isn't it? Hang on, then. Is there anything on these rooftops that I've not seen? Or dunno. Right, let's go upstairs. Oh, distractions, distractions! Yeah, I must be able to get to it pretty easily from here. I just hop over? Yes, I can! This was quite a hidden chest. It took me forever to find it. Another green eye. Good stuff. Right, so who's gonna know about this dude? Maybe the receptionist will. Uh, on behalf of the organizing committee, allow me to offer you my heartfelt apologies. Uh, your prize being stolen, it is our fault. Can I have some, like, you know, compensation, please? You can't officially accept responsibility. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Alright, well, he's not talking about that dude. Do you know about this dude? Look like any old stick to me. Guess you could throw it for a dog or something. Uh, yeah. Okay, they don't know anything. Look, it's Mage! Oh, I've got some fans. Your partner admits to cheating, then your prize gets stolen. Oh, thanks. Do you? No one knows about this disappearing dude. Uh, a bit of a disaster. Yeah, you could say that again. The yellow orb's gone missing as well. Oh. It's like pay you beat in the final. From the old man and the girl with the kicky, kicky legs. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how I'd describe them. It is a bit disappointing, yes. True. It's, it's nice to see that so many people are quite understanding and forgiving. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for having the dude decapitated in front of millions. That was really that was a really shitty thing to do. Um, and I'm sure all the people that he captured are pretty pretty pissed about it. I don't know why I jumped over there again, guys. I'll be honest. Uh, who the fuck is going to know about this MMA dude? 
Maybe I should actually check with the other kids at the orphanage. Sounds like a, a, a thing that would, you know, be well known amongst the, uh, the youth of today. Maybe. I can already sense this video is going to be me just not getting anything done. Already, already feel it. Right. Kids, do you know about this dude? Grateful to Uncle Vince. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, looking for Uncle Vince, he's in the garden downstairs. Maybe he'll know about it, actually. He's probably... Yeah. Go chat to Vince before we leave. There he is. The big cheaty McCheaterson. Uh, I guess maybe you heard. I decided to quit fighting and come clean about what I've been doing to win all these years. And you know what happened when I did? People forgave me, man! Octagonians might get on your back if you lose, but deep down, they're good people. <sighs> good, good to hear, but you still haven't told me about this dude that I need to learn about. Uh, now that he's back, got to do to help him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Does anyone know about this dude that disappears? Fuck your barrels. I guess no one knows. So, I mean, maybe ask around the arena. I kind of did that, and I didn't find anything. Um, oh, by the way, we still need to loot Vince's room. Because there was a book in here. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, Memoirs of a Treasure Hunter, Volume 1. Ooh, this sounds promising. Journal tells of a tale of adventures uh, of a humble treasure hunter. I hope that it might prove at least an amusing diversion for those who read it. My name is of little consequence, but if you must call me something, call me Pseudonym. <laughs> Pseudonym! <laughs> Pseudonym! <laughs> That's great! Pseudonym! Yes! Oh, I found that way too funny. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Pseudonym. <clears throat> anyway, right. Uh, well, there's one of the chief ministers offered one million gold coins for a certain artifact. Played no small part in my decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend has it, hundreds of years ago, when the luminary returned from Yggdrasil, he brought something back with him. The rainbow. Oh. Alright. So... It began... <laughs> so began the adventures of Pseudonym. Pseudonym. Treasure Hunter and the quest for the elusive rainbow. Well, I'm guessing he's not found it yet. Hmm. Or maybe it's Rab. Maybe it's Rab that stole it. Maybe that's Rab right in there. Maybe Rab is pseudonym. Who knows? Anyway, nothing else in his room. Okay. Right, well, I still no closer to finding this freaking bastard. Do you have any more info? Still be here in town. That doesn't narrow it down very much. Big and strong like a fighter. Well, a lot of people look big and strong in this place. I bet it's not, though. I bet it's like he's super skinny. I bet it's one of the kids or something. I don't bloody know. Uh, do you have any information? Oh, they all miss Vince. Alright, well, I'm going to check back at the arena then. I really have no clue. I might have to look it up or something. I'm sure you guys will tell me if, uh... If I can't find him. I don't know why I'm about to yawn so much. <sighs> oh, Christ. Everybody's talking about you. It ain't fair. But I ain't going to whine. Guess I better just accept that you're good. You're pretty good. Um... Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Right, anything... Can I actually go back to the arena? Sorry, pal, I can't let you up there when there ain't no fights to get ready for. I wonder if there's more fights later on, like there was with the horse racing. Hmm, that'd be cool. I, I do like JRPGs that have those kind of, you know, battle arenas that you have optional fights and you can win good shit. Okay, it's not the bunny girl, is it? that I can't do the voice for. Is it this old dude? Hmm. No. Uh, 
off. Is it this chap? This fancy looking looking gentleman? It's odd, but I've uh, heard those names somewhere before. Can't for the life of me think where. That would be interesting information if you could share that, buddy. It means the best, right? Your mum? Oh, maybe. Ooh. Where is your mother? Is your mother up here? Uh, I miss the sound of uh, fist on jaw already. No, it's not you. What about... What about this guy? Oh, it is him! I had a suspicion suddenly. I remembered him. He was kind of like cowering and... Yeah. I don't get why you'd want to talk to me, though. What? Some kid wants my autograph? No way, man. That's impossible. I mean, people don't even notice I exist. That's like my whole thing. <laughs> I don't even get a number for the partner draw because nobody there can see me. Every time it's the same. It's like I'm invisible. Like they don't even notice when I shout right in their ears. It's, well, kind of lonely. Aww. That's weird, though. How come no one notices you? Alright. Okay, looks like we've done the quest. Good job, I thought, to check up there again, isn't it? Alright. I wish there was a quicker way to get into the damn orphanage. I mean, there might be for all I know, but I ain't found it. Alright. Let's hand this to the kitty. Get our mini medal. And then I'll go chat to Akia. There you go. Whoa, you did it! This is amazing! And you talked to him too! What kind of guy is he? People don't even notice him when he's trying to talk to them. Sounds like he's taken the disappearing act too far. It must be so cool when he does it in the arena. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. That's what I wanted. Mini medal. Which means we have... Uh, I don't know. Like... 14 or 15. I think. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick gander. Oh, 15, yeah. That's, that's not a bad amount of mini medals. That ain't too shabby. And we've killed 734 monsters. Sweet. Right then. Uh, so, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing else to do in Octagonia. So I'm going to... Uh, zoom back to Gondolia. Doodlelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Yeah, sure. A thousand thank yous, here's a letter. Now, what does this chap look like? I know how to get there, I've been there before. I've been there before. Um, he will not be difficult to find... what? Well, the letter tells him everything, that he, uh, that she abandoned her career as a bakist, um, and came to work here. It will be a disaster for me if it fell into the wrong hands. I'll take care of it. An even lovelier letter. What does he look like? Valentina will not be difficult to find when you arrive there, I'm sure. Well, that doesn't really give me much to go on. Can you not at least tell me what he fucking looks like? Making things awfully difficult for me when I'm trying to do you a favor. Is there any more quests here? Doesn't look like it. Well, those Heliodorians are still frickin' marching about. Mm-hmm. Jasper was a was a pushover. Well, he wasn't really, but... Right, let's, um... Uh, what should I do? Zoom to Port of Valor and see if we can find this guy and trade in our mini-medals? Let's do that. Yeah, so what we'll do first, before we trade them in, we'll stay at the inn. And apparently the woman you, uh, you hand them into is near the casino. I kind of want to get this quest done, so we'll look for Valentino before we do that as well. Might as well hand them all in at the same time. Are you Valentino? Oh, night time. Yay, night time. Holy shit, he vanished! I was just about to talk to that guy. He's gone. He did a, he did a Batman. How does he do that? Uh, are you Valentino? Mm, nope. Now, there was... Ah, there's a story thing here, apparently. Now, this place isn't that big. We must be able to find Valentino. Oh, you know what? I've just noticed on the map. Near the second inn. Is a mini metal uh, icon, so that's that's where we hand them in, I guess. Right? Are you Valentino? Just remember, uh, armor accessories. I think I've talked to this guy before. Yeah. All right, he's not Valentino. Are you Valentino? I've spoken to you before as well. Are you Valentino? <laughs> really did not give us much to go on, did she? Are you Valentino? Oh no, this is Hendrix's uh, biggest fan. This dude is not happy with the uh, casino. Are you Valentino? This is the villa of Don Rodrigo. Uh, famous and honoured hombre in Puerto Valle. You may enter, but do not cause any trouble. So yeah, story-wise, I don't think we're supposed to be here just yet, are we? But we might as well have a look around now that we're trying to find this Valentino guy. Is this the church? It is the church. Uh, an item of knights. What's the bet in this Don Rodrigo is actually a bit of a bastard? usually the case, isn't it? I think I've... I have definitely explored this church. I definitely have, because that chest is looted. So let's leave. Open all the doors, and don't close them, because we were born in a barn. Uh... Well, yes, kind of. I've, I've checked out the casino. I, I didn't want to talk to you again. Ah, uh, Valentino. This isn't Valentino, is it? Because this is the quest, dude. Oh, 
I wonder if he's in the casino. Or is he on the beach? Then again, will any... Oh no, there's still... Oh look, a bit of a beach party going on. Oh, maybe this is where the dude went. Oh no, it doesn't look the same. So beautiful. Are you Valentino? You lost in music. Not really. I can't dance. Goodness me. Are you Valentino? Uh, you like bunny girls? See? I like bunny girls very much. No one in Andrea likes bunny girls as much as me. It's a very strange thing to brag about. Ghost penguin, there must be something over here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Another maiden's favor. Well, I'm not having much luck trying to find this prick, am I? All this for a mini medal. Oh, maybe he's over here. Ooh. Oh, dude, this this is where I'd hang out. Hell yeah. Is Valentina the bar tender? She dances with so much passion. It is most enchanting. Ooh, it can I can't say that. Um, two performers working as one that's key to magic. Very impressive indeed. We Valorians are very proud of them both. Good to know. Um, uh, only a recent addition to our town, so the casino is new. Changed everything, but not all for the bad. Teristas, they bring money, no? Yeah, okay. Are you Valentino? On the western side of the street, in the center of town, the side with the staircase, there is a villa that has been for sale for some time. Unfortunately, I cannot offer it to you anymore. The merchant who has agreed to purchase it will return. Oh! I reckon it's got to be Rab. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe we can loot the place. Well, then again, if it's empty, it's not going to have much in it. Ah, finally! He was hidden away. Yes, we'll give the letter to him. A letter for me? There's only one person who would write me a letter. Akia, yes. Been a very long time. Let me see what she has to say. Dear Doctor, it has been a while, has it not? My apologies for not writing since I last visited. Good news. Finally have the money. I can finally pay you to treat my father's leg. Oh, isn't that nice of her? We must hurry, Doctor. Please come to Gondolia right away. Poor dear child. Akia has still not given up the hope that Abu... Isn't that... Abu. Isn't that from Aladdin? Or am I thinking... I don't know. Um, maybe healed, but perhaps I should explain. As you just heard, I am a doctor. Akia heard of my reputation and came to me to treat her pappy's injured leg. But at the time, I could not help her. Okay. She wanted to earn more money. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Oh, you... But you kept her hopes up all this time, and now you're just gonna shoot her down now that she's worked so hard for the money? I know where fucking I Ikea is. I've seen her twice. Right. Well, that sucks. Oh. She's gonna be gutted. Is there anything over here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Crimson coral. That's not quite the coral we need, unfortunately. Uh, I'm guessing this is the, uh, yeah, the villa that's for sale. Yeah, it's not that big of a town, really, apart from Don Rodrigo's section, which looks massive. And there is a story thing here. I'm just going to quickly check what this is before we zoom back to Gondolia. Hello. What do you have to say to me? A merchant with a colorful branch. See, he was here. Seemed keen on selling it and buy- Oh, right, okay. So this is what we could have seen when we came here the first time, and it would tell us to go to, uh... Yeah, to Octagonia. There you go. Okay. Well, we don't need that information. We've freaking We're ahead of the game, mate. Is there anything in here I can loot while I'm here? It's a very fancy house. There's nothing in here? Oh, no. No, there's a door. And books! A very empty room. I mean, there's some bookcases and shit, but there's nothing else. Hello. 
Uh, Don Rodrigo had a son. He 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 ho? <laughs> How do you say that? He Joe? He ho? Uh, but he ran from home long, long time ago. They say that uh, servant was very upset when it happened. Cervantes, Cervantes, I don't know. He was fond of the boy, it seems. It cannot be easy. Not well. I wonder if we're gonna ever see him. Who knows? Uh, someone's diary. Senorito Nobeto defeated Senor Hendrik. Wow! Hendrik was beaten, eh? Well, that gives me hope that we can take him on. Who is this guy? A year has passed now since Senorito Nobeto's departure and still we hear nothing. I pray that he is safe. Oh, that sounds like an interesting character. He must be pretty strong. Chivalric ideal. Chivalry. All those who dare to call themselves knights cherish this above all else. Do not shrink in your duties and your training. Is there any recipes in this goddamn thing? Never go back on your word. Oh, no recipes? Bullshit. I was looking forward to learning something new. Can I go in this door? Nope. Oh, that's his chambers. Oh, he's not there at the moment. Okay. Right then, I guess we'll zoom back to... Gondolia. So I'll see you back at Ikea, guys. Right, Missy, we've got uh, a bit of bad news for you. Uh, he didn't react very well. Surely not. He refused to treat my father. But why? Oh, we kind of spoiled the contents of the letter, didn't we? <laughs> uh, the letter is not addressed to me. It is addressed to Valentino. And the sender... What? Oh! Plot twist. Why are you delivering... I don't know. Uh, yeah, have a read. Dr. Valentino, I have heard that my daughter visited you and asked you to treat my leg. You must do something with me, Doctor. If Akia offers to pay for my treatment, I would ask that you refuse. I'd also ask that you give her the few coins which I enclose in this envelope. Tell her that they'll help her follow her dream of becoming a baker. I've saved up this small sum through my work in the stables in the hope that, the she, uh, that they might help my dear daughter. I've been a terrible father to my children. Nothing I do now will ever change that, but I would like to try and help this in this at least. Thank you, Doctor. Your humble servant, Abu. Ah. So he wasn't, uh, he wasn't a bastard after all. Well, he might have been in the past, but... Yep. Well, at least now you can stop doing this and go be a bakist. I must thank you for bringing me this letter. It has brought my father and I together again, if only indirectly. Please accept this as a small token. Alrighty, another mini meadow. Let's, let's go trade that in. Because I, uh... I don't... How many do I have now? 17? Do I have 17 now? I have the memory of a fucking goldfish. 16! Okay, I, only 16. Well, that's fine. 16's good. I should get us something, shouldn't it? So I'll meet you back in, uh, in frickin' Port of Valor, guys. Right, here we are. Let's go inside. Talk to the slime, stay the night, see if we can get a mini medal. Good day to you. The hotel is property of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, usually oozed for school trips. Regular people can stay here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love slimes, man. And, uh, you must be slooper tired. <laughs> oh, 250 gold coins is a lot, but let's do it. A great time. Good morning. <laughs> Please come again. Oh, nearly slipped my mind. The first slime guests get a free mini medal. Use it wisely. I don't think that's ever going to get old. If you go and give it to the girl at the medal exchange right next to me, she'll probably swap it for something great. Now let's do just that. Hello. Hello, Sherry. Uh, welcome to the miniature medal exchange, an officially licensed organ... Of L'Académie de Notre Maître. 
Demidal is. I can't... Demidal? I don't know. Um, what is this? You do not have an album. No, I don't. Oh, I do now. Thanks. For each and every mini medals that you bring me, I will put a petit stamp in your album. When you get enough stamps, you'll be rewarded. Prize is magnifique. Okay, let's hand those bad boys in. 17 mini medals. Booyah. Oh, it's just like Nino Kuni with the, uh... Like the quests or the errands or whatever it was called. Ah, oh, we got, what, a shield bearer? An accessory. And... Ooh! A Hermes hat! Nice! I'll tell you what, we're nearly at the, at the end of that. Need three more. Rune staff? Oh, yeah, dude. We'll be coming back for that. Is that Hermes hat any good? Uh, not so much defense-wise, but agility and charm will shoot up. Hmm. We'd only lose five defense, but I think it's probably better if I give that to someone else. Maybe... maybe Sylv. Yeah, we'll lose some magical might, but that's not a big deal. I think charm is more important for him, anyway. So we'll give that to... we'll give that to Sylv. Yay! That was cool. What about that uh, shield bearer thing? Ooh. Very nice defense. Kind of tempted to give him that instead of the. Uh... Hmm. Give it a strength ring or. Yeah. Uh. And again, our defense is pretty high anyway. Maybe I should give it to someone else who would benefit more from it. Yeah, I think we'll give that to Serena. Okay. Right, well guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching, as always. I'm going to go off screen and try and find this uh, some more coral enemies that we can get the floral coral from. And hopefully, at the beginning of next video, we'll hand that in to the guy and get our reward. And then we'll probably just head to uh, Dundrasil. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, of course, we stayed the night. Durr. Um, People queuing in for the casino already. Holy crap. Those are some eager beavers. But yes, look forward to the next one, guys. I hope you'll join me for it. And I'll see you then.